Hey, Fadies, thank you very much for joining us for The Fate of Ison. I'm Brad, and this is Book 2, Episode 6. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you drop us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Podchaser to let us know. Every review helps us grow and reach more amazing listeners just like you. Or just get in touch with us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Those are all at Fate of Ison, Or email us, fateofison at gmail.com, just to say hi. This episode was live-streamed on our Twitch channel on Wednesday the 9th of October. If you missed it, but want to make sure you catch all our streams in the future, make sure you're following us on twitch.tv slash fateofison. Okay, let's recap what happened previously, shall we? Last time, Dexter watched in horror as giant spiders took his friends away. Due to the perspike spores in his blood, he was too exhausted to do anything about it, beyond following them to a clearing and then passing out. When he awoke, he freed them from cocoon-like webs, as well as their frenemy destiny, before being set upon from all sides by a plethora of arachnid foes. Alright, so, we're going to start today a little differently, because... There's another character here with our players as they are being overtaken by various spiders and webbing in a dark and spooky forest uh, looking for Perspike as sent here by caves. Um, Destiny. Destiny is here. And although they did free Destiny from their webbing, they didn't have a chance to talk to her. But she has been thinking and feeling things all on her own. And so it's time for you to hear what's going on in Destiny's head. Struggling in her webbed bonds, with all of them crowded around to watch her, she feels angry. Not with them as such, although there is definitely a level of embarrassment that she'll have to deal with later. Can't believe I ever told them I was going to win, and then they had to rescue me. Ugh! Ugh! But no, the anger burns from further down and further back. It's the whole reason she's here. She has followed caves since the beginning, when nobody even knew who they were. Tammy is everything that Destiny wants to be, and she was finally going to show them and then maybe join them on the road. There's so little to be enthralled by anymore. It feels like she's hollow and empty, like something's missing from her life. Yet a sloshing, full of longing, or a motivation, or an energy, or a something. It's like the something that drove her to leave her town and seek out caves at long last. A feeling like, finally, here was something to follow, something to belong to, something to... And here, her words fail her and she stops. There is an itch in her mind, like the words that she wants are just out of reach, hidden behind a wall, trapped there, like she's unable to access, like a ray of light swallowed by a shadow. There's something missing, and she can feel it. It's missing from the world. It's been plucked like a flower from earth and a gaping hole left with nothing to fill it. And her frustration in this finally breaks the last of the webbing and she stands to look at these adventurers gathered here. They're a strange group. A young man in monk's robes? I mean, those monks are strange too. What even is a monk? They live in these camps around these big stone buildings with these fancy glass windows that don't mean anything. They just eat in them. And they just tend the fields. Like, where's their families? And there's this young nobleman that looks like he knows more about being from a rich family than actually how to swing that sword that he's carrying. It's bizarre. What is he even doing here? Why isn't he at home? And there's that old lady, Granny, they call her. Who brings their granny on an adventure? I mean, she's fierce and all that. And the way she swings that frying pan, I mean, you've got to admit. And, you know... I wouldn't mind trying an apple pie of hers, but is that adventure worthy? The bard is the only one here that makes sense, you know? A fellow bard out here following the call of caves? I mean, maybe they also feel that hole inside, that emptiness, yet that sloshing with something to fill it. I should ask. Uh, Maybe not, maybe not right now. 
Maybe I should help with those spiders. Ooh, yeah, they really look like they could do with a hand. And that's what's going on inside Destiny's mind. So we groin our adventurers. We um, groined? We joined. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I, 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 by the way, I didn't actually have a British accent. That was a bit that I was doing. I just wanted to get that out of the way now, so I didn't have to keep it up what? for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No I know. Wow. I know you guys loved it so much. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Anyway, um, so at the moment, Bartley is actually covered by a giant swarm of spiders, which has sort of overtaken Bartley, and that is what Destiny seems to be focused on. Uh, as the bard took her attention last and she realized that the bard actually went down, swallowed by a swarm of spiders. It was like, ah! So Destiny sort of heads over there, looks like she's stomping on spiders like a crazy person or trying <laughs> to as they skitter out from underneath their feet. Um, but we do also have this very large giant spider um, who is trapped in between Dexter and Hamlet right now as they're pummeling uh, this thing um, into hopefully submission. So uh, we have uh, <laughs> Dexter, you're up first. So yeah, Dexter looks rough. He is actively bleeding. He is not having a good time. Remind me, is he poisoned right now? Because I did uh, fail a con save last session. Yeah, he is poisoned. Oh, which is not as great as it sounds. <laughs> I mean, you'd think poison. Oh, that's great. That's such a boon. No, I have disadvantage on attack rolls, which means I yeah. take the lower roll for you kids at home. Uh, so <laughs> he's going to wish he had any way to heal himself and just keep swinging at that big spider <laughs> until <laughs> he is no longer of this world. Uh so for flavor and reminder, uh, he has a quarter staff shaped like a wooden spoon, and he's just going to kind of whip that around, and in his poisoned milky haze, going to try to hit the spider. <laughs> and he might not, unless a nine hits a big spider. Yeah, no, not a nine. Not well, <laughs> Your, your wooden spoon comes down and the spider is just so skittery, quite quick for a big creature. And it just sort of just, you know, your it, its legs get in the way and then get out of the way. You just can't get purchase on it. Okay. In that case, I'm going to spend a key point. This is a, this is a special, a special monk thing, uh, to use flurry of blows where I can make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. And he's basically just going to stick both fists directly out in whirlwind to try to hit the spider. <laughs> just everything he's got. Well, uh, that's sad. Better. That's a thirteen to hit. Nice, nice. No, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit better. I guess that's it's a great a, number. That's the first one, and the other one is a seven, so that does not hit. <laughs> Dex nope. is just not having a good time. He's got. The green vision, he's just completely out of it. <laughs> Swinging <laughs> wildly at spiders that he thinks are there, and then they just turn out to be nothing. It's terrible. It's not, it's not a great time, is it? No. <laughs> um, uh, Granny, you're up next. Uh, I imagine, um, Dixie, you'll stay in there. An opportunity of attack does not seem like a yeah. good thing for him right now. No. In this economy. Can I have a refresh of where, where I am? Yeah, you just finished case. crushing, like, a spider, like a small spider oh. that was next to you. So you can kind of move either towards the swarm or towards the giant spider. Nice. And the giant spider is a giant or a medium creature? It's not a, it's a large creature. So it is bigger than a medium. So, hmm. yeah, mostly it's oh. like its body is a bit bigger than you, but its legs are a lot. So... Most of the large is kind of its leg sprawl. Because what I'm thinking is like, ah. Long boy. Well, fight fire with fire. And I would like to wild shape into a spider. If nice. possible. <laughs> spider fight. <laughs> Literally the oh, Spider Man meme. Yeah. Turn into stats. Spider. <laughs> spider stats. Uh, spider stats. 
does whatever those stats do say. Reflection, they realize I'm a druid, so yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you just what? you just remembered it. <laughs> Like, yes. So it's like spider Wait a second. on giant. Wait, spider Wait. on giant spider what? action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jules, Jules. So I can only way to lower the tone. Discourse tang. <laughs> that was very the British. biggest spider I've ever seen that I can be. So yes. Okay, okay. spider away. I would like to uh, jump upon the spider uh, that is gianter than me and. Um, I believe they can, uh, like, bite, right? Yes, they can. So I'd they like have to a do plus that. four to their bite. Great, plus four. And what die is it? Sorry, I would have googled it, but I'm stupid. <laughs> That's a D twenty plus four. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. We're all about honesty here. <laughs> Up of slayer. Baby brain, man. Uh, it's it's a condition. Uh, Twelve. Yeah. Plus four, that's 16 to bite. Yeah, you bite this thing. Um, it does one piercing damage as a spider, but uh, the target must save on a DC 9 constitution saving throw or take poison damage. Um, nice. And weirdly, s- giant spiders are not immune to poison damage. Um, well, yeah. So, so he's going to roll a con- save and he gets a three. Um, I shouldn't assume the spider's gender, but I'm going to say that it is a he, because I should know. Um, so he gets, <laughs> gets that, fails, uh, and he takes also two poison damage. Granny does like a little like front leg wave. I am on top of him, or is that not allowed? Yeah, totally. <laughs> You're on top of him. You're like riding this yeah. spider like a cowboy. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like a Russian also doll of spiders. Spider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get smaller spiders uh, attacking uh, you now. Oh, no. <laughs> For flavor, I'm still wearing my flower crown, so it's like to to tell me. <laughs> that's okay. Wait, just in case we hit you. <laughs> is it a tiny flower crown yeah. or is it the full sized flower well, crown I mean, on a small spider? To fit, right? Yeah. So the, it's probably just a smaller yeah. little yeah, flower spider crown. shape. Yeah. That's yep. adorable. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just a really cute spider with a flower um, crown on it. Yeah. Mm. And uh, this giant spider wants to attack something. It's got a monk, whatever that is, on one side, <laughs> and some kind of a noble person, apparently, on the other side. Uh, there are no spider monks. And then a spider on its back. So what I'm going to do, because fair is fair, I'm going to roll a... I have you guys in an order on my screen, and that means that I'm attacking um, the spider. Yeah, I was going to say, it should attack the thing that actually did damage and not just flail randomly. 100%. Yep. Uh, so it gets a... Does a 14 hit you as a spider? You wouldn't know because I've oh. got the thing. Yes, it does. It, your AC as a spider uh. is 12. What? So you get hit. was granny. And you die. Um, as a spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so I'm back to my normal hit points, right? Yes. Okay. So well, you come to, and now you're kind of like sprawled on the top of this giant spider and just kind of hanging on. And just have an urge to knit something urgently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, uh, Hamlet, to go. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to. Att- there, is there a separate giant spider from the one that Granny is attacking to the one that? Um... No, there's one giant spider, and there is a swarm of spiders which is currently surrounding Bardley uh, and has uh, drawn Bardley down to the ground. Okay, great. I'm gonna go with the rest of the team and ignore Bardley. Um, okay. <laughs> keep attacking this giant spider. Um, I'm going to take my great sword and try and swipe. Uh, at the spider's legs to try and make it prone. All right. That is a 19 to hit. Definitely. And that is 12 damage. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Hamlin. Yeah? How do you kill this giant spider? (laughs) Um, With Grady on its back. (laughs) With Grady on its back. I mean, I feel like 
I, I made it clear that I was doing a low swing. So I'm going to yeah. I'm gonna say that Hamlet just misjudged the um, the angle of his swipe uh, and cuts through the body of the spider from was it thorax? What is the back of the spider called? Butt body. The butt. The butt of the spider. I go from sure. butt to face. The uh, end of the spider. Swipe straight through it and just sort of make it into like two sandwich buns. Yes. Um, I love it. And just <laughs> spider uh, patty. And uh, as he does so, Hamlet says Ha <laughs> ha, you mess with the the uh the T- the team, you get the, uh, you get the the uh, team. Ha ha. On with it. <laughs> and then sh- sh- straight through. <laughs> like one of those um, villains who keeps <laughs> monologuing so long. Yeah, keeps. <laughs> <laughs> I've already thought. Really wanted to say something cool and short and sharp, and ended up just. Flubbing it. That's very, that's, that's very Hamlet, though. Like, yeah. Hamlet wants to be, you know, mm. this great, memorable, awesome, but is just kind of flopping. <laughs> yeah, <It's- laughs> that is exactly Hamlet's deal. I'm sure it I won't ho- be forever. I think he's hoping years from now people will remember the story and, like, sort of sub in something cool. Yeah. 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 Like, insert great line here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. Nice. Um, yeah, so this giant spider goes down, but you do still have this swarm of spiders over on the side. And it is uh, Bardley's go, but Bardley is actually down right now. And um, not looking great, honestly. And oof, uh, it's okay. Rolled an 18 on a death saving throw. So we are fine. Uh, Bardley is unconscious, oh. but alive right now. Um, and it is the swarm's turn. We were on dead saves? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, You're level <okay>. two. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and so the swarm turns, seeing their giant spider protector go down like this, and seeing the three of you standing there, well, Granny sort of lying there. Um, it's quite obvious who they're going to go for uh, is the person who just took their giant protector out so <laughs> rushing you. who that yeah, yeah who I'm that? Just, not the the oh, woman yeah. who's laying on top of the dead spider's <laughs> corpse was so not weird um, <laughs> yeah, your is a, receptive. <laughs> the spiders aren't going to launch Hamlet. a full investigation <laughs> so, sorry what was that yeah, uh, does a twenty-one hit your AC there, Hamlet? Um, I believe it does. Yeah, yes, yeah. only just. Yeah, um. that makes sense. <laughs> um, so could you please take five piercing damage? For me? <sighs> Do I have to? Yeah, yeah you no, are okay. covered in tiny little spiders who are rushing oh, at you, oh, just fine. finding you around the feet and the legs, and they're crawling Ooh. up. Does it feel kind of nice? Is it? Um, are you into biting? I mean, that's a personal preference thing. I, I guess that is a personal. I preference. heard this kind of things make it uh, makes it less likely for you to get arthritis at my age. So, you know, it's it's <laughs> therapy. <laughs> it's acupuncture. Acupuncture, <laughs> but with spiders. <laughs> yes, and the venom is actually healing. How yeah? Can we fight wasps next? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you that need feels, sleep. Um, <laughs> you hear a buzzing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so this swarm is, is actively attacking you. Uh, Dexter, <laughs> it is your turn. Well, Dexter's just going to try to help his boss that is now covered in spiders. Oh, no. And honestly, his just boss. do his best. Yeah, I forgot that you were my lackey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm always your lackey. This never changes. I thought... Oh, and I'm always out. your boss. Hmm. Even when you randomly mind. disappear and, <laughs> <laughs> does and that run off into the woods. <laughs> there was because an you've em- gone an emancipation mad. arc at some point. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that's book two. Uh, so I'm going <laughs> to try to swing, swing my spoon. That's a little bit better. That's uh, 16. Yeah, spoon. 16 here. Yep. Oh, and that is eight points of bludgeoning damage. Sure. Absolutely. 
I think I tried these shenanigans before, but I can move a target five feet away from me if I do bludgeoning damage. Does that work with a swarm? And does that knock them out? And um, it's not really. I mean, you I think it's one spider into the air. Yeah. Because right. <laughs> here's the thing as well. Like you go Yo, better, better. with your spoon, and you're pretty sure you're on target to hit quite a few of them, and then some of them just last minute manage to. Sk- get her out of the way so you only sort of squished about half what you thought you were going to at the time as well so I think you probably can move one or two of them out of the way a little bit further so they have to kind of skid it back in but yeah okay in that case yeah I'll fling some some out of there yeah cool kind of spike them up and then bonus action I can do a single unarmed strike and so I'm just gonna <laughs> try to just punch one <laughs> Off him. <laughs> in the only monk way I know how it's a 14 to hit a 14 does hit boom and that's 6 points of bludgeoning damage to okay. whatever spider I managed to clock yeah you do manage to cal- clock one spider I'm with that <laughs> screw down. this one in particular <laughs> yeah. it gives you a little like oh no pleading <laughs> I am sorry to see you you oh, know what I you did it. man <laughs> you hurt my boss one of those Spongebob extreme zooms <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just the detail yeah <laughs> um, yeah absolutely but granny you see this happening there's still some spiders crawling over, all over the place, like making its way in a big old dark patch towards you. Oh, totally. Uh, I get off the big spider, pick up some projectiles. I don't know what it is. Is it spider feces or is it rocks? And it's probably I... bones from their victims that they've uh, wrapped up and crunched and sucked to death. As far as long as what a way to go. I do not waste. <laughs> Granny does not waste. Anyway, Sucks so to I. Uh, what? So I, like it. <laughs> yep, I heard that coming out of my mouth. Like, that bodies kind of liquefy and they have to, mm, you know. Mm, yeah, mm. we heard what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly innocent. I don't know what you're I'll, thinking of, Finn. I'll go sit in the shelling. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of the exact same thing. No, Jules, don't go! No, <laughs> no come We're back! All gonna... Without the DM, how will That's we all die? the end of the Jules. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, Jules, can you go away again? We could, we'd... <laughs> I took out my well, head off, I can still hear you. Ah. Um... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. We spilled cool, so many yeah, secrets. Yeah, I'm going to shut the hell up. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is what Granny says, and I pick up some projectiles and I'm imbued with some magical thoughts, with some mystical gestures and things, and then I hurl uh, one of those projectiles at the front, the the spider doing running point, riding point. I don't know the first spider I see. Yeah, yeah. the edge of the cool. the front edge of this wave that it's approaching. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes, so that's... Ah, oh, be good. It is 17 to hit. That's a hit. Oh, cool. And seven damage. All right, there's not many spiders left, but they still seem to be approaching, just determined to finish you off. Like, they can feel that some of you are close to death, and they could just if they could just get you down, they could just wrap you up and just bundle you away and live off you for, a, you know, a week or two. <laughs> Um, and I don't know what you're talking about. My remaining two projectiles would be like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they could live off me for at least like <laughs> a month. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a big guy. All right, I got lots of muscle. Just by you eating know. your ego, they'll survive. For <laughs> I mean, Ooh, I'm not here skinny. Aren't you like a really lanky, skinny dude that's uh, got a sword too big for himself? A t- um, well, no, that's that's me, so- the player. Um, <laughs> my character has a bit more muscle than I do. Right. All um, right, well, but, use but that thank you for that look. ice cold burn. Yeah, it, you're, you and your muscle are up. It's heating yeah. up. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do another sweep with my greatsword. Oh wait, am, are they still on me? 
Yeah. All right. How do, how do I brush him off me with a great sword? Is <laughs> that... I mean... <laughs> it's not very... Just like it's, I'm going to say carefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how you want to do um, it. Can I just... Maybe I'll just do unarmed strike to, to try and flick these dudes off. You don't yeah. got a dagger? Um, no. Uh, we got to get to um, a dagger, homeboy. Stop you yourself. That's a 16 to hit. <laughs> That is a hit. All right, cool. Uh, and that's four bludgeoning damage. Nice. All right, there's one lonely <laughs> spider that got flicked further away and is still skittering on its way back to you all. Making uh, my way downtown, spider <laughs> fast. That's not good. Um, that was. Was that my that singing was or? One. <laughs> I'm um, on Budley's death saving throws, so um, I hope I don't roll badly next time, or somebody helps them. Um, Cause that's a worry. I can do a medicine check. With Why do we advantage. keep forgetting to help Bartley? What is wrong with us? I don't know what to hear. I mean, to be fair, you just met yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. You met okay. outside a notice board. Uh, you all seemed to be on the same thing, looking for money, looking for adventure, grabbing a mission. This, mm. this has all just kind of been a whirlwind of action. I don't think any of you have sat down and actually thought about the others in any great detail. So... It's possible that you don't really care. You're also, so right. After this, we're organizing some sort of team bonding exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys? The we're we're going to go to an falls. escape room. Or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> escape room. To me, I mean, it's, like it's yeah. been like four months. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll go out to the middle of the forest and, you know, just pick a fight with whatever's there. And yeah. just really bond as a party. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the or meantime, doesn't tell it stories when the camp you? Hamlet as this one spider just rushes at you, tries to bite you. Oh, no it does not. There we go. It just rushes at you, crawls up your leg and just desperately Bounces tries off to... my killer thighs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, nobody's missing leg day over there and that's how you avoid getting bitten by spiders. Um, you heard it here first. <laughs> you see this one spider just really trying to bite Hamlet's leg. Uh, and it is your turn. Uh, so now if I had a empty glass and some paper, I could absolutely take care of this, but I just have my trusty spoon, so I'm going to just try to, like, <laughs> whack it. <laughs> uh, it's a spider's kryptonite. Yeah. There's a glass it... and a bit of taut paper. If you are lower than a six, you're hitting Hamlet. Do I get flanking? <laughs> <laughs> Can I skirt around? <laughs> To make this just a straight roll. Yes. Hooray. Hopefully I don't hit my boss. Or else I might get fired from being a lackey. That'd be terrible news. Hey, Jules, does a 22 hit the spider? It does. Oh, my God. Uh, that is eight points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, my what? <laughs> oh, my bread. <laughs> Dios mio. Um- Tell me how you kill this last remaining spider on Hamlet's leg. Oh, with the last bit of strength that Dexter has from his poisoned, just blood seeping, just brings his entire body with the spoon down and just smushes it and then very carefully scrapes it off the end like, ooh, gross. Nice. Nothing fancy. He's a simple boy. The forest (laughs) sort of takes on a calm and sort of quite restful noise at this point you know it's you just hear the breeze blowing in the trees then sort of early morning sounds of birds waking and you're just starting to see the first pieces of light as the sun rises over distant hills it almost looks quite nice here apart from you know all the squished spiders and that corpse that was wrapped up in a webbing before that you opened um, and Destiny standing there looking quite shocked and Oh geez, it's you again. Hello. Yes. Oh dear, oh um, dear, my little Bardley is in trouble. Kieran wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's right. That's right too. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Friend, but... <laughs> no, I was just about to go on a monologue. It's fine. It's, no, it's what, what, what did you call me? What did you call me? 
Uh, sorry, uh, th- 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 uh, a young man. <laughs> <laughs> young man. We really need to do some team bonding. Yeah. Um, Bardley feels that so- cure wounds hit and heal for those points. And what you see is a, sort of a difference from like a, a kind of slack jawed, sort of unconscious Bardley on the ground and sort of, um, 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 um. And just looks like Bardley's gonna have a wee snooze as they process that healing on the ground just there. You can wake them. It looks like they're awake, but they've just, you know, they really took a beating. So they're probably quite tired right now. Oh, no. Ah, let them sleep. All right, Lackey. I feel like I also need to sleep. Yes, boss? Pick, pick, pick them up. Okay. Uh, Dexter goes over, just fumbles, tries to pick them up, is way too weak. <laughs> and just, it just keeps <laughs> flopping to one side, like, oh, no, no sorry. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> It, it, and it doesn't hit, work. Hit I can't do it. All right, drag then, them. It's fine. And then Dexter also just kind of collapses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I already used the cure one, so I should use it again, perhaps? <laughs> it's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> just oh, you are here. bleeding out of your eyes. That's not good, is it? I'd, I'd prefer not to. But this is my life now. Oh, dear boy. Uh, Let me take care of it. And I do it again. And it's not a lot. Seven. Uh, That's more hit points than I had before, because that's how healing works. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) The more you learn, (laughs) the more you know. (laughs) Okay, I imagine I'm still poisoned, but I'm slightly healthier. So so Dex is still, like, very green. And not looking the best, but the blood has kind of seeped off. All right, and uh, Desiree was like, it? and cleans up the face with her spit yeah, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. edge of her skirt. Oh, that's that's better. That's all better. You're always and fussing over me, but I appreciate it. Oh, that's okay. I do miss my grandchildren sometimes, but then I remember how much they screamed. Yeah, I. <laughs> Very ominous. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, uh, Can I now try to successfully pick up Bartley in like a fireman's lift? Just on my shoulder. How heavy is Bartley? Is there a donkey with us? Oh, we tied the donkey up at the entrance of the forest. Yeah, so the donkey is not with you because you tracked into the forest to find the purse bike and where you then got dragged even further in deeper into the forest when the spiders took your unconscious bodies to where they are now. Mm. So hopefully your donkey is still tied up with the four busts uh, of Roto (laughs) on uh, its flanks. It wouldn't leave us. Yeah, I can't imagine a donkey has much else to do. So Desmond, was it? Um... (laughs) You there. Dempsey, what? I think. Dipsy? Dipsy. Dip, 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 I think dip, it was sh- Demonstrate. Dem- oh, Demonstrate? I don't think it? that's a name. It's Destiny. Dexter. No, oh, Dipsy's Dempsey. my name. No, I, I think I don't really believe in that sort of stuff. I think that everyone, you know, makes their own path. But Desmond, it's lovely to meet you uh, back again. What brings you into the forest? The same uh. thing that brought you in? Oh, caves! Right, yes, of course. Um, great, well, well, we'll be off then. Uh, <laughs> funny coincidence bumping into you. Um, we don't need to... We're, we're good, right? You're not... Are you you're just gonna just leave me here? Uh, you're welcome to come with us. I think that's what my boss was trying to say, right, boss? Oh, oh guys, can we have a little... Um, do like a circle up for a okay. sec? Okay. Is, it, is it cool? Okay, okay. I'm gonna move badly so that the head's facing forwards. Okay, okay. Huddle up, huddle up. Do we really want to um, bring this this one with us? I mean, it's... I mean, we can't we can't just I mean, leave we... her here though. It's dangerous. There's spiders around. We met around. her three hours after we met each other, so I don't see why we shouldn't. Yeah, but I mean, if we go, we have a better chance of finding the purse bike without but her. We've already got it. Oh yeah, I've ha- I've had it on me this you've whole what? time. Did, it, oh, did I not tell you? You have oh, what, you've had the purse bike the whole time. 
Yeah. yeah. And I can just kind of bring it out of my pocket, like, yeah, it's just, it's just here. Keep that back in your bag. You should really Don't pay more attention, Don't let her see that. Hamlet. Okay. Where did, where did you find that? Uh, <laughs> this is just going to point. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to tell her that the purse spike is in the opposite direction, and then we'll head back to caves. I don't know. How does that's, that sound? Are we all good with that plan? Because that's what we're doing. Uh, that seems very, very mean, good, boss. Uh, let me do the talking then. That's okay. And then I okay, turn around. Okay, but we're good on that plan. Like, that's the plan. That we're yeah. good. Well, this is a great plan. I completely agree. Oh, you are a you. good young man with your heart is in the right place. Oh, thank, thank but you. But I'll do the talking. All right. You I are think. the one with the most person skills between us, so... Undoubtedly, yes. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's it's the uh, the the wisdom, and I turn around to uh, Destiny. Yeah, she's um <laughs> she's been rooting around inside that webbing sack, and you <laughs> see her pull out like a a small wee like leather purse, and it clinks, and she goes hmm, and puts it into her pocket. That's disgusting. <laughs> um. <laughs> She's like, what? Hey, no, what? Hey, we're going uh, can we have you another? Money, you can um, find it. Chat. It's <laughs> disgusting, viscerally, but also ethically. That belonged to someone, and you're taking that off them. How dare you? We would never uh, uh, do Hamlet, something Hamlet, like Hamlet, that. Hamlet, Hamlet, let's just have another conversation, just on the side here. Uh, oh, wait, am I a part of this secret conversation? Yes, yes, come on, come on. Uh, okay. So I was going to just do the opposite of what Hamlet said, but <laughs> I think this is not a good person. We should go. Uh, because she will be bad influence on you boys. That's are we are we happy with that plan? Um, I'm very conflicted right now. I'm, I have I a problem with people. authority, so I want to go back on my plan, and I think we should bring her in now. Because <laughs> just because you told us that we should do that, I feel like we should do the opposite. This is, is this that, anyone else feeling that? Is, is that a, are we all? This is a brainstorming session here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've, yeah, we've had a lot of ideas. Learn to communicate. Mm. Are you guys yes. gonna be long? <laughs> just a just a quick minute. So we okay, take we can her take her we with us her because to... because she will the... definitely uh, then. She will almost say certainly perish if about we us when... her, right? Is yeah, yes. yeah, and yeah, okay. we want we want good reputation. I think mm. that's what we're here for. Exactly. Yes. Do we want good to be reputation, heroes? or good. do we want to be zeros? Yes, we but. Want, I, I'm Pretty sure we, we do, want to be heroes. I would like to be a hero. Okay. I personally. Yeah. I, uh, right. yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. We've never and really we talked about that before. And... We, we all want to be heroes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I'm yeah. Pretty sure. I don't want to be a lackey like forever. Down. Wow, that's really lovely. We should we should but... talk about this common goal at a later date, but let's make a decision. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, let's, let's... I mean, it would look bad, okay? Uh, oh, awful. It doesn't terrible. matter what really happens, but it has to look great. Okay, Wait, Granny, you go, you go, you go, you go. somebody go. else in here? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so I couldn't hear over the brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, we're a little busy, actually. It's quite rude to interrupt. I'll get it! <laughs> and then you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... <laughs> ripping into this other <laughs> webbing <laughs> cocoon that's there. All right. Well, she's definitely uh, a forward, forward thinking lady. Uh, let's just take her with us, and so she doesn't rob any more corpses. Okay, but when we get back to town, worse. we are ditching her immediately. Is that? Yeah. No? Okay. I'll, I'll agree to that. Just as long as you're safe. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's Taylor. Should we okay. go team on three? Is that? <laughs> are we there or are we not? Are we not okay. there yet? Is that not? Yes. Sorry, I just feel like I have a quite a close bond with you all already, even though we've only known <laughs> each other for like a day or two. Isn't it? Yes, it really. It feels like we've known each other for at least I don't know, like a few weeks or months, yeah. even. I mean, it's it's day two, mm -hmm. which in. in I just I just mean like I would I would defend you guys. He's still breathing, but it's okay. I think I've got it. Gee, we are literally having a heart to heart over here, Desmond. Could you please? You know, I'm back on the fence with that whether or not we leave her. Uh, <laughs> yes, if I'm honest, 
She's put me back on the fence. Ha, 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 ha. Stand alive. Stand alive. Ha, 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 ha. How many is that? Is it three? I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, she's doing it all wrong. He's dead. I think we need a necromancer in here. <laughs> okay, right. Granny, you, you go tell tell her the plan. Okay. Okay. So I go to Des... 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 Desputin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ra, ra, Desputin. <laughs> and you, you walk over to where Destiny is kind of bent over this small figure and uh, it is <coughs> flat, like spitting up stuff. And, and she's like, oh, hey, look, this is Greg. Greg the gnome. Uh, I met him in town uh, back at the caves gig. Um, of course. Yeah. He's, he's like alive and stuff. <clears throat> That's really cool. That's like so cool. Um, I, I think it's very cool. Greg, yeah. Hi, Greg. Um, Hi, Greg. Okay, so listen, Destiny. Uh, we've decided that you can come with us in the end. Uh, it wasn't easy. I must say, voices were divided. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth, there was and a you lot of back certainly and forth. did not help your case. I must say, no, no, it was very weird. Uh, but uh, since you've revived the man, uh, no, no man, no, <laughs> um, we've decided that you, Desputin, can can accompany our team of uh, great heroes back to caves. Right. Okay. So you heroes. Stood around and have a conversation while I save Greg the gnome here. Uh, well, you're part of the team whether now. Whether you were leaving me so. in the forest or not. You also stole yes. some gold. Are you trying to say you're a better yes, hero than that's... us? Yeah, that's a great point. I'm just saying, like heroes, kind of. You know, those in those in dodgy houses shouldn't throw hero stones. Is all I have to say. Maybe think about that next time you start accusing people of not being I mean, heroes. Right, exactly. Right. I'm Who in the killed middle of the forest spiders. and I don't know where I am. I mm. does anybody know where we are? Ah, uh, yes. Here. We're Somewhere. Here. Yeah. We're right here. Right here. Yes. Um, where are you? Good. That's an excellent question. Where are you? What does is anyone, e- anyone even? She's like, right. She like stands up and she starts like dusting off her like, you know, pants and stuff. And she's like, so I guess I'm climbing the tree. Can I attempt to do a perception check to see the way back? It's going to be with disadvantage because he's still got the poison sweats. He is not in a good place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that is very cocked. I'm going to be real this dice. Um, okay, so that would have been a nat 20, but it is instead 16 plus 4, dirty 20. Nice. Okay. This is so a very yeah, good roll. My God. You have a look at like where the sunlight is starting to come from, and you're able to put that together with where the sun was coming from, where that sunrise was coming from when you were coming into Lakeside on the ferry, and it looked quite beautiful, and, you know, it was it was a lovely scene. So you're like, wait, hang on, you know, you're able to piece together, because the forest is just on the, um, on the edge of the lake there. So using that memory and using where you see the sun coming from now, you're able to pinpoint a you know, general direction that if you walk in that direction, you'd hit the lake and then lakeside at some Mm. point, you know? My party members, it's like Sister Sola used to say when I was a kid, you have to follow the sunlight, but not too much or else you might burn this way. (laughs) And you can see things are very confidently walk in a direction. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And you trudge okay. through the forest and it's it's not actually too long before you get to uh, a lighter version of this forest. The, the trees are more sparse and you're starting to see less uh, bushes, less sort of wildlife, like more openness, more light. The sun is also rising and starting to get brighter and brighter. So your way gets easier and easier until you see the edge of this 
this clearing and you can now see the light sparkling off the lake and the lakeside hospital just on the other side. It's quite a large building, so you can see it. Do we see our donkey? Yes. Still tied up, not where you came out, but further up and to the left. So if you make your way up that way. um, (laughs) He migrated. The donkey with open arms. Very happy to see the donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Are the bus still attached to the donkey? Again, the sunlight is just reflecting off the whiteness of those busts all attached to this donkey. Oh man, it's crazy nobody wanted them. Yeah, nobody yeah. nobody stole those. What, no. What is what are the who is this? Who is this uh ass? This is this Whose donkey, ass is this? Uh, ours. Uh he came to me out of the water. True what? story that happened in this okay. podcast. Yeah. Granny I, I believe you. <laughs> donkey summoning powers. It's something I'm definitely learning about her. Yes. Uh, I cast quickly uh, speak to animals. Um, I don't think and... I want to know what this donkey has to say. <laughs> like, Hi, donkey. How have you been? This is amazing. So glad to see you. Uh, dear GM, so you now you're sit a donkey. on the ground for 10 minutes and sort of do some ritualizing and then stand up and start going, oh, I had one more. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody else hears. Dexter looks visibly uh... freaked out by this. He does not know what's happening. <laughs> and you hear, I am, thank you, uh, come me back. <laughs> Do you like turnips? Sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Turnips! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! That's amazing! <laughs> they give him a turnip. Um, <laughs> it's okay. a beautiful friendship. <laughs> I'm dying of laughter and donkey. I just hope somebody is listening to this podcast at work. Somehow their headphones got disconnected and just open plan office that entire conversation. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, 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 it's 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 tonal. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get the pause right. You got you got so, Okay, so we're just gonna stick with donkey, okay? <laughs> ah, same side. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna sound ah, offensive. Um and it probably goes away. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chad, if that just blew your eardrums out. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, you know, what? I'm not sorry. Listening. You know what you're signing up for. Yeah, exactly. I didn't didn't plan that, but that's what came out. I'm <laughs> improv. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, you have a quick conversation with your donkey. Your donkey has been uh, pretty chill here all night. Hasn't really noticed anything. Nobody's come over. Very happy to have a turnip uh, and pretty happy oh, to... Oh, you're, uh, you're talking about useful questions I could have asked him. Okay. Yeah, I did yep. that. Uh, and uh, then pretty happy to walk back with you to Lakeside. Uh, speaking of walking with us back to Lakeside... Um, I turn to uh, Destiny and I go, Well, Despinoza, great to accompany you for the short period it took for us to walk out of the forest. Um, we'll be on our way now. If you, um, d- d- I was going to say if you want to come with us, you're not invited. Um, oh, no, this is not how this is working. <laughs> Don't think that you're getting away from me. I'm taking a piece of that reward money. Re- re- reward money? What do you think that we're... We're, we don't what, have what, what, anything. What do you think we're getting rewarded for? What is... What, exactly. what? We were just I'm not that stupid. I know that you've probably got the purse bike on you. Or you never would have left that forest in the first place. 
No, no we were no. getting attacked and we wanted to guide a poor, defenseless you back to town. And I don't you know if you can. We're going like back into the forest, aren't we, guys? Yes. yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We have a. Go fast back to get donkey. that purse bike. As soon as now I'm not yours, yeah. safe and sound. Yeah, but first we're just going to have like a, a, a coffee and a bagel. And yes. And going back. Just recoup. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to roll persuasion rolls. Yeah, fair enough. With her <laughs> Ooh, I'm, and I'm very foot good at tapping this. and very. <laughs> Is it persuasion uh, or deception? Oh, persuasion or deception, either way. Uh, 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 Brad, they're not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> did, did you see that roll? <laughs> Brad, dang it. Oh, seven. Um, seven. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> I do, am I also rolling? <laughs> No. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just focusing on carrying badly at this point. So so she got a 13 uh, oh. on her insight into that and just goes, ah, yeah, I'm not stupid. That's what I said. Well, it's time to kill an NPC. I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you it's- sure you're not stupid? Because we just told you exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> and you... <laughs> You seem to not believe us. I'm just saying that is what a yeah, stupid what, person the would trust do. And the... yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to insult her into believing us. And Seems she... like just from our perspective, you can see why we would think that you maybe might be a little she bit on the stupid side. She tilts her head to the side and she looks at you all one by one. She's like, do you even know where the apothecary is? I mean, Apoth- I found my way out of the forest. Apothecary, dear. Apothecary chasm. Uh, so... Uh, oh, I think we're better who? at pronouncing things. Yeah, Charles you Beattie? get her ass, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the library I'm is older, open. Therefore, I'm this right. This is a pylon. <laughs> and and apothecary, apothecary is that way. I'm pretty sure, and I point. I mean, Lakeside's not like a big town. Like we could find it. Yes. Yeah. What we could ask someone. We could. We've yelled at a small child to find something before. We're capable. We can ask cool. the donkey where it is. She's like, Been so here. I'll be waiting there for you when you get there. Then. And or she you, just okay, you, like, you go. You take the lead on this one. Yeah. We, I mean, like, we're not. We're not going to be there anytime soon. Obviously, we got to head back into the. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> See, okay. I told you we should have left her in the forest. Is all I'm saying. We, we had an opportunity to ditch her. She could have just followed us. We're not like very stealthy. Yeah, it wasn't a That's very a good point. deep forest. She's not even walking very far ahead of you. It's just like it's just I was gonna say, are we waiting until we're out of earshot? Are we just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> obviously? <laughs> Well, she didn't really help kill the spiders, so I don't feel like we owe her anything anymore. No, that's a she, great um, point. She got, she actually got captured by the spider. If anything, yeah, we are yep. far more deserving of this prize. Also, what happened to Greg the gnome? I swear he was just around here. Does hello. he also? Oh, hello, oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Greg. Greg, you can't do that. It's I didn't okay, see it down there, man. <laughs> Do you also want a cut of the gold? Because, I mean... No, I'd just settle for a, a walk back into town, frankly, if that's okay. okay. Could I interest you no in a bust of this bald man? Well, that's Rodokana, that is. Oh, can I interest you in a bust of Motorola? Right, uh, that's the speaker. Uh, I'll have a bust of it. Wife will love that. It'll okay. make our house look right classy, it will. Exactly. Getting good with the medi? Sure. Oh, you'll be good, Greg. Do, do you mind uh, if I keep it attached like to the donkey so I don't the house. have to carry it now, though? Uh, I, I see you're untying it. Um, I'm just okay. a wee gnome. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was going to gift wrap it for you, but it's, it's okay. You oh, can thanks. put the other one in your garden. No. I like you, Greg. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you got a good vibe about you. <laughs> Um, let's, let's keep this gnome around. Yeah, I you want to be a hero, Greg? I, I've got no interest in being a hero, if I'm honest. I just want to do hard days where I just, was in the forest and the spies got me. Yeah, well, and you why, know what? Why, why were you in the forest? Weren't you at the caves concert? I like was. Yes. 
Oh, and then you went into the forest, even though you're a tiny little person who has no interest in adventure. Nope. What's that about? Who are we to what judge we this <laughs> poor gnome's motivations to because enter see, the forest? We, we were in the we forest. Have, we have can't run motivation to be towards in the, the forest. forest. And when you're quite a little guy and a whole crowd starts <laughs> running towards the forest, it's quite easy to get caught up. It is. Right, and, just, um, they didn't really caught stop. <laughs> he got up. <laughs> he got excited by everyone running into the forest. Yeah, the moth that got him. They, they didn't really to stop. Awesome. We just kind of kept running, and then we were in the forest, and then, well, I, you know. You know what? I'm sorry the same thing happened to my nephew and my grandnephew and my other grand grandnephew and my son's friend. So. Yeah, that's fair. I uh, will take you back. That's fine. Do you want? Do you want a turnip? Do you like turnips? Here's one. Uh, those look like they've um, rotted partially. Oh, but the other side's fine. You shouldn't waste the non-rotten side. No, no, you're right. Wife's always saying, "Good for the stew." Exactly. I really like you, Greg. <laughs> I really do. Is it What's your wife's name, Greg? You, you smell a bit like a brock flower. Good eating in a brock flower, though. <laughs> oh, great for the stew. Both sides oh, of it. Amazing. So we'll go with the they are, they are good for the stew. I will I will admit that. So shall anyway, we best them? be on. <laughs> best be on. Are we going to start walking away from Greg? <laughs> Um, so you walk with Greg as he uh, starts listing off other ingredients that are also good for the stew. Uh, and now you're just listening to Greg <laughs> prattle on for the rest of the uh, journey. Can I write these near. down on the back of one of the help wanted posters? Yes. <laughs> well, this will be the signature heroes too. Uh, this could help yeah. me at some point. At some point, yeah. Yeah. Um, he does mention a few ingredients. He also mentions, as he's listing these ingredients, that some of these ingredients you don't see as commonly anymore. It's like they're not growing as much as anymore, or things like um, the ground has gone kind of bad, and uh, some of the fields aren't like fruiting or planting or growing anymore. And so the farmers are getting kind of frustrated. There's something going on with the earth but it's making his stew more expensive it's basically what he's why he's telling you all about mm. this because the stew used to be this cheap and now it's this expensive and he has to go further and further out to get ingredients if he wants to get them himself so oh i get that greg i used to till the fields a lot and now i'm trying to upskill to becoming a hero it's an exciting process and, and he goes well i wish you luck on that nothing wrong with tilling the ground Venture is not sure about that one though. Haven't needed any of them in a while, have we? Um. Well, you know, supply and demand ebbs and flows. Yes, Sometimes it, you have to make economy. your own. Exactly, it's a gig economy. Sometimes you have to make your own gigs. Like that caves gig I went to check out in the market square. I tell you, I won't be doing that again. Wife's going to have me right. For guts for gutters. Uh, thanks for the turnip, for the stew, uh, and the bust for the house. Uh, it's It's been nice. Um, I don't know what to call you all, but uh, thanks. We, we are um, the... The, the hero... The, the heroes three... Four. There's the heroes, three, four. On the, the, the donkey <laughs> three heroes and one sleeping hero too, as well. <laughs> I think you should probably keep working on that. That sounds like a work in progress. Quite marvel at the moment, but um, we're the well, heroes we are, five. Big, we are the um, heroes for hire, but the number four, so it's clever. Right. Like like yes. toys are us. You should work on something more like heroes that, are us. It's it's easier to put on a poster, you know. Um, All right, uh, watch out Bali, we'll if be yourselves back. a good good date. <laughs> mm. anyway. I love you, Greg. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and cheers, Stu. I really hope we encounter him again. Yeah, he sounds like a, a very, very lovely man. Mm. He had a good and energy about him. He did, you know, didn't we he? Did, yeah. 
we did lead him out of a scary situation, so maybe he'll give us some food. Um, He's frankly, gone. It's been a while. Oh, you mean like in the future if we encounter him? Right, yeah. right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We'll, I'm on board. I'm on board. Perhaps. Hopefully we'll get some gold and then... Yeah, I yeah. could I could do with a meal. You just see sweat just pouring off next up. <laughs> As the poison's like taking more and more of a hold. It's like that key and peel thing. Too warm, <laughs> <laughs> dearie. It uh, looks like it's... These are my only robes. I I mean, I, I have just met you guys. I feel like I want to keep them on, but... <laughs> I don't know where that thought's going, Granny. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's been a long day. Up. You come back into the main square of town because you're not really sure where to start to look for our apothecary. Uh, so um, you enter the main square, which was where caves was set up with their massive big stage and their big rocks that were amplifying sound and all of their various light displays. But there is nothing here now. There is an empty square. All that has been packed down and packed away. The wagons are gone. There's almost no sign of them, apart from a few posters that are sort of still around with their distinct, unhelpful lack of information, more like a puzzle um, than an actual poster. Yeah. A lot is left to just to call K. <laughs> uh, can we smell uh, the apothecary? <laughs> is anything wafting right now? Yeah, can we go? What, what smell would herbs? that smell like? Herbs. Like lots of herbs. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows. You can smell a lot of herbs, yep. Oh, well. Oh, no. This, can we, can this we are the only children to yell at. <laughs> there you are boy. children in the square. <laughs> children. All right. You boy. <laughs> boy. Hey, boy. You. Boy. Garçon. Garçon. Look at me, boy. Garçon. Garçon. <laughs> This boy just hello dear. The square just turns around and says, what me? Yes, um, a pocket fairy. Go. Okay, and he just runs off. All right, let's follow this boy. He clearly knows where he's going. <laughs> After that boy, <laughs> let's chase this boy through the streets. Skills shot. No, I'm kidding. Um, so you, <laughs> you easily manage to follow this young boy as he twists and turns down alleyways, and you fast realise that this this wherever this shop is, it isn't just in Main Street. It would have been quite difficult to find without some kind of assistance. Without some get, kind of boy. Yeah, you get to just a doorway uh, with like a covered window and all that there really is here identifying it is a wee little uh, mortar and pestle pitcher just kind of hanging over the door. Oh, well, we could have found that. Yeah, totally. It's the classic sign of an apothecary. I don't know what else yeah. it could be. Can I? All right, I thank you, boy. Knock. Here, have a have a, a silver piece for your troubles. Oh, gee whiz, mister. This is a lot. Could I interest yeah, you in well, a... Well, I am very wealthy, so... Um, could I interest yeah, you in the bust of a man called mozzarella? <laughs> <laughs> and that's... here's some uh, sourdough starter for your mum. And I give him, like, a plop. And he's like, oh! Oh, wow! Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. She's always talking about how she kills hers. I I'll take this home. Maybe she won't kill Great. this one. Oh. Yeah, have a little vial, actually, that's... Uh, it might die on the way. Although your your hands are sticky and full of bacteria to keep you alive, so maybe not. O okay, can I go now? I have nothing for you, small child, but I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. I like that you're given more to the small child. Than I mean, you can take a bust if you want, but it's almost as big as you. <laughs> no, nah, he's boring. He's like the speaker and he's always giving speeches. Blah, 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 blah. Bye. Goodbye, small child. Whose oh, name we boy. definitely didn't ask on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you're standing outside mm -hmm. the door to do this wee little hidden away shop. And I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. <laughs> And no. that's, that's the, the end, end of the episode. Of the the episode. episode. <laughs> the pipes, the pipes. <laughs> <laughs>
every time. Every time. Worse every time. We really need to work on that. Yeah. We're going to oh, go to like right. 10 minutes apart at some point. Thank you. One, time, so much one episode, for it's just going to be perfectly in unison. Today. Oh, it's the final. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Maybe uh, your homework will be to practice it. I'll make you all practice it. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. And um, we hope that you join us again soon. Uh, we'll be here in two weeks again, live streaming here on Twitch, uh, New Zealand time 7.30. Uh, and I know that America just had a date change all over the place. So that may have screwed a few people up who joined us here today or bought some that joined us here for the first time. Hi, James Shadow. Hey. Um, so we'd like to give a big shout out to our fadies whose support helps us keep the lights on in Eisen H- HQ and also makes the Fate of Eisen Discord where our Patreons um, come to hang out a delightful home on the internet. So a big shout out to Alex White Robertson, Irene Kirchie, Laura Christian Goodwin, James Wiper, Sam Malcolm, Lauren Flake, Kydron Falls, Di- Kai Dearlove, Rihanna Kalvalsik, Ben Edwards, Victoria and Gavin Porter, Daniel Nichols, Bachelor Katarina von Plimperset, Squish the Guy Who Doesn't Talk on an Audio Only Podcast, and Alexandra Litkites, Andrew Evans, Danny Holman, KS the Fox, to go to Shumansky, Andrew M. Waffles loves you and hopes you have a good day. Jared from the Indie Film Review Podcast, Ezekiel Tabarelli, The Gamatron, Christian H. Dusty at, nope, Samsara at Gamers ADHD, Deserved One NZ, Lyndon Hood, Tom Ailey, Erica Jane, Stephen Horn, and the longest one of all, Penny D from The Terrible Adventures of the Janderson, Griffith's Parchment Company podcast. Woo! Greg the gnome do 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 do. Man, those new heroes really don't like Destiny. I hope she ends up being the big bad or something. That would be amazing. Hey, Jules, Jules, if you're listening, yeah, there's some free story inspiration for you right there. Destiny, big bad. So Bartley's not looking too good right now, eh? And I hope Dexter gets the help he needs for that poison. And I also hope Jules learns to say the word apothecary. Also, hashtag donkey voice. That was amazing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. That is it for episode six. Don't forget to review us somewhere. It really does help. Or if you can't do that, just tell your friends that you like the show and they should check us out too. Okay, bye for now. We will see you next time.